Hey guys, this is Tony with Deco Network, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your live shipping with UPS. And after we've done that, we'll go through and I'll show you how to uh, purchase a shipping label, and then we'll see how to print one as well. So we'll start in the admin section, and we will go to settings, and then we'll go to shipping, shipping methods. From here, we'll go to add live shipping method. And once we're here, we'll scroll down till we reach UPS. So what we'll do here is enter in our username, enter in our password, and then we need to grab the access license number and the account number. Now the access license number is also called the access key. Uh, so let me show you where to get this. Okay, so from UPS's website, once you're logged in, we're gonna go to services and we'll go to Integrating UPS Technology, and then we're gonna to go to UPS Developer Kit. We'll go to Shipping API, and right here we're gonna click Download APIs. Okay, and on this page we're gonna click this link right here, Request an Access Key. Okay, and once you're on this next page, you can scroll down. You're gonna have additional information here. Uh, this is gonna have your account number, so that's handy for uh, putting this in. So we'll go ahead and put this in uh, on our UPS site already. And then what we'll do is we'll request an access key. Okay, and then your access key is going to be uh, sent to you right here. So we'll just go ahead and copy this, and then we'll go back into Deco Network and paste it in here. And then we're gonna enter in our username and password. Okay, and then we're going to select uh, which services we would like. So for my international, I'll just choose uh, UPS Standard International. And then for our domestic, I'll just choose UPS Ground and uh, Second Day Air. So we'll confirm that we have everything set up correctly. And I'm going to click Test Settings. Okay, and it says Success, uh, connect, connect to the server sex successfully. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes. Okay, and what I'll do now is go into my UPS ground, just to give you an example here. So you can mark this up if you want. You can mark up an additional cost. Uh, this is included in your shipping cost, so your customers won't see this. This is to, so you can cover your uh, packing materials and things like that. So uh, I'll have it set for 10% and everything's good to go there. So now, let's see what this looks like in the Business Hub. I already have an order ready to go, ready to be shipped, so I'm gonna click Record Shipment. And here we go, it's got UPS uh, shipping available. Uh, it's calculating uh, based on my uh, supplier's dimensions, but I'm gonna put in my own package size here, so I'll say, uh, it's eight by six by two inches here. And you can override the, the weight if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and override this. And we'll just say it's uh, uh, one pound here. Okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna click get rates for UPS ground. Okay, so it's charging me 943 US. So I'm gonna get a live postage payment here. And we'll click okay. Okay, so I successfully have purchased a shipping label, 
And now I just need to print my shipping label. So I'll click this box right here. I'll click print shipping label. And then it's downloaded down here. And there you have it. I have a shipping label I can print out and attach to my uh, box here. And we're all set. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.